Welcome back and thanks for popping in. Today I have four random subscription boxes to share with you. I have one with clothing, a beauty box, a home decor box, as well as a book box. And we're going to open them all up in one mid-month mashup. I know you like these type of videos and so do I. So we're going to dive right in. As always, if you like what you see, consider hitting that subscription button and giving this video a thumbs up. I always keep this a really positive place. And if you happen to be stopping by for the first time, comment below where you're from. That lets me know you're new so I can welcome you personally in the comments. All right, I didn't even take any notes for these boxes because I can do them all in my sleep. They're all some of my favorites. The first one is my Shabby Lane VIP. And when I saw this in my mailbox with these cute flamingos, I squealed. My neighbor probably thought I was crazy because he was out mowing his lawn. He thinks I'm crazy anyway, because I'm always like, hi. I think he's a little bit shy. Anyway. Here is the bag that it came in. Now, Shabby Lane is a monthly t-shirt subscription and for $19.99, you get a t-shirt and one additional item. I don't think they've ever, that I've ever seen, done the same color t-shirt twice and I've probably been opening this for over two years. I love their t-shirts. They're so soft. I love the owner. She's so sweet. They have a couple of other subscriptions, just FYI. They have um, like an accessory subscription. There's one that's a little bit smaller and one that's more deluxe. That's got like jewelry, earrings, necklaces, makeup bags, really cute things like that. I do have a discount code for any of those boxes that we're talking about, including the VIP box, which is 20% off. So if you wanted to check this out, this is a really budget friendly subscription. Use that discount code and it's amazing. So we'll open it up and see what is inside. Oh my goodness. First of all, I love this color. I can wear this raspberry. I cannot wear hot pink, but this, this raspberry is my color. I am so excited. All right. So inside we've got our extra item here. Let me see if I can figure out where to open this from in the top here. I know I've got ASMR girlies out there who like the crinkle, and then I have people who don't so much love the crinkle. <laughs> so I try to have a little bit in each video of each. All right, so the first thing that I see in here, this is so stinking cute, and I love the blue flamingos. Look how pretty these guys have not eaten their shrimp, have they? I'm a sucker for a makeup bag, but I also use these in planning. Like sometimes I'll just go to Panera and sit down and like fill out my player and put my stickers and use my colored pens and I'll put my colored pens in here. And this one I think is what I'm going to do that with. I'll organize some of my craft supplies or my pens. Is that not so cute? I love the pattern on that. Okay. We have a, there is power in kindness. She always sends us a little card that we can frame. You can put it on your refrigerator or your um, filing cabinet at work. Isn't that adorable? I feel like I heard something um, drop. Yeah, it was this. Kindness is powerful. So I have a feeling our t-shirt might have something to do with kindness. Let's see. Oh, it's so soft. It's Yes, it says kindness is powerful. I love these t-shirts. I've told you guys a million times. I almost always have a shabby lane t-shirt on. I wear them with my leggings to go walk every day. I wear them to bed with my sleep pants or sleep shorts or sometimes just the t-shirt. Um, I wear them with jeans and like a flannel shirt in, in the winter. I wear them just with white shorts or denim shorts in the summer. I just feel like you can do so much with them. I love them because the quality is great. Again, every month for two years, I've had these t-shirts. I've never had one get a hole in it. That's major, because most of the t-shirts, I get a hole like right where the button of my jeans go. I don't know what that's all about, but anyway, I've never had a hole in any of these t-shirts. They shrink very minimally. They are a little bit longer. I'll put just a little insert of me trying it on. So there are a little bit longer, but they shrink, I mean, the smallest amount, and I do put these in the dryer because I'm real okay <laughs> I love this color this is beautiful Catherine you did a great job if you're watching I love it okay so if you want to check out the shabby lane VIP t-shirt subscription you can use my discount code for 20% off let's move on to the next box 
Not sure if this is going to stay in the rotation. Birchbox did a relaunch and I decided I wanted to check it out. It's $20 a month, but they had an introductory offer for 50% off. So I got it for 10 bucks. I reached out to them and got that same code. So if you guys want to try Birchbox, you can use the code also to get your first box for $10. Now you can customize your box. I missed that boat. I didn't realize when they sent me an email, I get so many emails that I just sort of missed it and I didn't know to look for it. So my first box was kind of ho-hum, had a lot of micro mini samples, but I gotta tell you, I really liked the brands in the first box. The second box, again, I didn't catch on to the whole customization thing. I think my box was already in route by the time I realized it. And I did get a full size product in that box. Again, I liked the brands, but the other items were kind of micro mini samples. Um, I even got a couple of foil packets in that one. I think they counted two foil packets, like little tiny ones as one item, which is a little bit disappointing if I'm being completely honest. Um, so I wanted to check it out with the customization and see if that helped. I do think I've already paid for the May box, maybe. So after this, if I don't like it, I'll cancel it. We'll, we'll just have to see how this video goes. I was looking for my glasses and they're on top of my head. Y'all ever do that? So here's what it looks like. 20 bucks. Again, I have that discount code to get your first box for 10 bucks. Just if you want to try it. I just, I want to get a a few more beauty boxes back into the rotation. I took a, a while off from beauty boxes and I'm just interested in makeup again a little bit. And so I'm just looking for the perfect one. Here is what it looks like. All right, this is cute with their little flower crown, isn't it? Um, we've got a whole pamphlet here. I don't think these are the items perhaps that I chose. Maybe these are items that you could have received in your box, I'm not sure. Okay. Right away, I'm seeing more full size. This is by Arrow. It's a oil cleansing spray. I do think that I customized this. I was intrigued by an oil cleanser that was a spray. It sounds like it would just make your cleaning routine just a little bit easier. Interesting. Mm, I feel like if I spray it, I'm gonna be oily, but... Oh yeah, it is a mist. Nice. And then you just um, can take your washcloth. <gasps> Ooh, this is like the perfect item if you want to do a double cleanse. Like you do this first to get all your makeup off and then you go in with a second cleanse. You know, when you have a lot of makeup on for, you know, a photo shoot or something. I like this. Okay, I'm super happy with this brand and I've never seen, maybe they're all around and I just haven't paid attention, but I've never seen an oil spray cleanser before that feels like it's breaking down like everything that would be on your face and like even waterproof mascara and just like rub it off okay look it up the next thing that i did customize is earth harbor tidal rose seaweed hydration mist i think this is just a mist if you're feeling hot if you're feeling a little dry you can just put it on hold on give you a little mm refresh it smells a tiny bit like rose and then ocean water at the same time i'm not a big rose girl but it's like lovely rose like a fresh yummy rose it's lovely it's cooling on the face so this is nice just to have in your purse or in your car you know in the middle of summer when you get in the car and your air just cannot keep up it is so hot and you're sweaty and you just feel ugh. this would be perfect to have all right the next thing that I got, what is this? This is by Dermatologist Choice. This is a pH balanced cleanser. I can't remember if I picked this or not, but there you go. All right, then I got something by Kosas and this is their Cloud Set. It's a baked setting and smoothing powder. Now Kosas is a brand I'm really, really curious about. I keep, I've been watching some videos I didn't shop the Sephora sale this year. I had a big list of things I wanted, but I just couldn't decide if I wanted to like spend the money or not. But Kosas, a lot of the products that are on my like wish list are from this brand. So when I saw that it was one of the customizations, I wanted to check it out. That looks really pretty. What did they call this? A contour, a baked setting and smoothing powder. Interesting. Well, I just put it right on top of that oil, which probably wasn't the smartest thing. It is very smooth. 
It feels like it's a little bit tinted, which might be good for my skin. I have a, here, I have a brush right here. I'm just gonna brush like the top. Y'all, I got a haircut and I am not sure if I like it. I can't get my hair in the front to do what I want. It feels really pretty. It is really soft. I mean, I don't know if it's smoothing out my skin, but I'm 52, anything that gives me the illusion of smooth it out my skin <laughs> makes me happy so the jury's out on that but i do like it and honestly this is gonna last a long time you guys know powder products i think i have a blush from patrick tall that i've been using for two and a half years it's probably expired nobody yell at me it's still got so much in it and i still love it i think it's called she's passionate i love that blush so much <laughs> but i would rather have smaller sizes in blush and powder products because you can never get through them all all right and then the next thing we have and the last thing we got two of so another little foily packet i don't know i'm not here for the foil packets these are a clarifying citrus facial wipe now i'm gonna give this a pass because i think this will be perfect for a travel bag think about it you've been traveling all day you get to the hotel room or your in-laws or wherever you're staying you just want to like take the grime of traveling off that's super handy. So I actually don't mind this. This would be great for teens that have PE, you know, or maybe after sports practice or something, stick in their gym bags. I don't hate that. All right, so that was my box. I did like it a lot better now that I got to customize. I really like this oil spray. I really like that I got a Kosas item. Did, well, not mad at this. What else did I get? The cleanser? I don't know. What did y'all think? Oh, and the... the Earth Harbor. That's like a $38 brand if it's full size. I'm not sure how much the little bitty size is, but perfect for your purse. I don't know. I think I might keep it around a little bit longer. Let me know what you think. Should I keep it? Should I try something new? All right. The next book we're going to talk about is my tiered tray decor box. This is a monthly subscription box for a tiered tray. I've been getting so many comments lately going, what the heck is a tiered tray? <laughs> And I always think, and I mean no disrespect for this, okay? So nobody come for me. But I always think in the time that it would take you to say, what in the heck is a tiered tray? You could just Google, what is a tiered tray? And a picture would pop up and you'd have your answer so much faster. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you feel me? You know I'm not being ugly, right? Anyway, a tiered tray is just exactly what it sounds like. It is a tray that has multi-tiers. I have three. I have one in my dining room, one in my kitchen, and one here on my desk that I keep supplies on. And they're fun to decorate. I really leave the one in my on my desk here. It just has office supplies the same. I don't change it up. The one in my dining room, I don't change up very often. But the one in my kitchen, I like to change up every single month. I might do a lemon theme or a bee theme or a... Easter kind of theme, a Valentine's theme. I don't know. It just brightens up my kitchen and it just makes me happy. It really, really does. So this box is $50 a month and I do have a discount code for 10% off. Now I always say with this box, you're not going to get enough products to fill up your entire tiered tray. It's really about sort of collecting things. And that's what I've done sort of over the years. I have several shoe boxes, like plastic Rubbermaid shoe boxes um, that I keep things in. Like I have red things that might go with Valentine's Day or Christmas or maybe like a strawberry theme, um, things like that. So I group things together so I kind of know what I'm looking for. But this is a fun way to sort of add to your tiered tray. It's a theme every single month. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and take a peek inside. Now this one came right at the beginning of the month, which is very rare for this one. So I, I'm not sure if this is last month's box and maybe it just shipped a little late. Um, but we will see. So the first thing we have in here is just a little sprig of greenery. I love greenery or flowers in a tiered tray because it takes up a lot of space on the top or in the back, like the back of your tray when you just need to fill up a little bit. It's perfect. And I have tons of little jars and vases and things. That's really pretty. That just screams spring, doesn't it? Love it. Whole little bunch there. Wow, this thing is packed this time now tier trays i'll link one because people ask that have seen my tier tray i did like a an unboxing one time where i took everything in the tier tray and decorated it in my kitchen so it's here on youtube as a short and i think it's over on my instagram but i'll um link the tier tray that i have or one that's similar i think they're not very expensive like 25 dollars or less 
Ooh, wow. We got a whole little pot. That is pretty and interesting. I always say interesting things for tiered trays too, just like a bookshelf. You want different things, similar in theme, but I like that little hashtags on it, sort of. Isn't that pretty? So you can put things down in here. Sometimes I'll put like um, candies or sometimes I'll do little spoons because it's right next to like our coffee pot. You could do a lot, anything with this. You could put your little coffee pods in there, little plants, whatever you wanted. All right, the next thing we got, this is interesting. It's a little like theme. It's got the cow, the pig, and the chicken. Cute. All right. We got farm to table. That's really cute. Little tag. It's got the big old hog on it. She has done sort of a barnyard theme before. I think that's actually the one that I did, the short that I did um, last year. Oh, this. This windmill is so different that's what i'm saying about different in a tiered tray like you could put this in like front of it the little pig and maybe do the chicken that's adorable now i don't have anything like that that is so cute that's my favorite thing so far okay then we got a little oh <gasps> she did a banner I'm into the banners for the tier trays lately. I love them. So what you basically do is just wrap this around the top layer of your tiered tray. So you just see it. That's cute. That's real cute. It's little chickens. Little chickens. Wow, she really went all out in this one. Okay, we have a little egg with a little egg holder. Oh, it says something. Hold on. It says farmhouse with a little pig on it. That's cute too. Okay, that's different. And then we have one more thing in it and it says ruler of the roost and it's got a rooster. That is a really adorable theme. I love it. I've got some other little black pots. I have this black cast iron pot that would be really cute to mix in with this. Maybe I could do a little touch of yellow with it. Adorable. Okay, that's adorable. She did a good job on that one. Man, I really liked this guy because it's just a little bit different, but all the items were really, really fun. So if you want to check out the Tier Tray Decor Box, you can use my discount code for 10% off. And thank you to Tier Tray for sending that last box. I'm so excited about. I got my book of the month. It just came in, which is actually a little bit late for book of the month. One of the books that I chose, though, they said when we were picking our books was going to ship I think around the ninth. Um, so if you're unfamiliar with book of the month, get ready. It is so good. If you're a reader, you're going to love this one. It is $16 and 99 cents and you get a book every month. It's always a hardback and it's always either a new release or a lot of times they're early releases that nobody else has all from your favorite authors. There's tons of different genres that you can choose from, whether you like chick lit or the best mysteries out there or horror or whatever you like, they've got them. So you go in every month and you pick the book that you want. And then if you're like, crap, I really want this book and this book, you can add on additional books at a discounted rate which obviously is what I did this month. This was such a good month of picks that I grabbed a couple of extras. Now I do have a discount code that's going to give you your first box for $10 if you wanna check it out. I like book of the month. I shared this before. I've been with them for over a year now, but once you've hit a year with them, you got this whole like goodie bag with a tote bag and socks and stickers and all kinds of stuff and then it's like they reward you for being a loyal subscriber which I don't know any other subscription box that really does that but they um give you a special like hotline number if you want to um get in touch with their customer service like extra quick they also gave me a free book at the end of the month they did a big like book of the year where everybody voted and they took the top five book of the years and you could pick one and it was totally free for being a subscriber for over a year it's a great company i really really can't say enough about them so this is my book box now i don't remember which books that i chose but i can tell you i had a hard time so i got 
got a bunch of them. You can also get audiobooks with Book of the Month, which I think is great. And then if for some reason you are like, mm, I just don't like any of these books this month. That happened to be one time. It happened to be the December before last, which worked out because I wasn't doing a lot of reading in December with Christmas and everything. You can actually skip and then your credit will roll over. Why can't I say that word? Roll over to the next month. So maybe next month there's two books that you want. You can use your credit for like January and then your credit for December to get both of those books at the same time. All right. The first one sounds so interesting to me. I kind of went back and forth of this one. This one's called The Husbands. And apparently this lady comes home every day and she has a new husband. It's like there's a store of of husbands um, in the ceiling. It says, when Lauren returns home to her flat in London late one night, she is greeted at the door by her husband, Michael. There's one problem. She's not married. She's never seen this man before in her life. But according to her friends, her much improved decor and the photos on her phone, they've been together for years. As Lauren tries to puzzle out how she could be married to someone she can't remember, meeting michael goes into the attic to change a light bulb and abruptly disappears in his place a new man emerges and a new slightly altered life reforms around her realizing that her attic is creating an infinite supply of husbands lauren confronts the question if swapping lives is as easy as changing a light bulb how do you know when you've taken the right path i don't know it sounds like light and fun and interesting so the husbands grab that one. The next one is how to end a love story. Again, I'm sort of in my, we're about to open our pool. I love going back there and just get sitting on the lounge chair, hearing the water kind of lapping and just reading. Um, this one says Helen Zhang hasn't seen Grant Shepard once in 13 years since a tragic accident that bound their lives together forever. Now a best-selling author, Helen pours everything into her career. She's even scored a coveted spot in the writer's room of the TV adaptation of her young adult novels. And if she can hide her imposter syndrome, surely the rest of her life will fall into place too. LA is the fresh start she needs. After all, no one knows her there except... Grant has done everything in his power to move on from his past, including building a life across the country. And while the panic attacks have never quite gone away, he's well liked ar around town as a screenwriter. He knows he shouldn't have taken the job on Helen's show, but it will open doors to developing his own projects and he just can't pass it up. Grant's ex exactly as Helen remembers him, charming, popular, and lovable in ways that she's never been. And Helen's exactly as Grant remembers too, brilliant, beautiful, and closed off, but working together in a messy and electrifying, is messy and electrifying, and Helen's parents, who have never forgiven Grant, have no idea he's in the picture at all. Okay, we got that one. Now this was, um, this was the author of the year for book of the month, Abby Jimenez, which I have not read her book yet. But since she had a book of the year book with book of the month, I decided to grab her new one. It says just for the summer. I don't know if you guys want to hear the excerpts, but you can fast forward if you don't. This one says four dates, a kiss and a breakup. That's all it will take to find their soulmate. When it comes to love, Emma is cursed. Every guy she dates finds his true love after they break up. But it's Turns out that she's not the only one afflicted with this condition. His name is Justin and his Reddit thread about being love's good luck charm has gone viral. Now the two have come up with an ingenious plan. If they date each other, their curses will cancel out and they'll go on to find their soulmate. Only Justin wasn't supposed to be so unbelievably cute and hilarious. <laughs> So that just sounds lighthearted and fun too. And then, oh my, oh, there's, there's more y'all. Sally Hepworth, do y'all love Sally Hepworth? Oh my gosh, I love her book. She does a good mystery. So this says, Revenge is Sweet, Darling Girls. And I think this is about some girls that were in a foster home maybe, and one of them dies, I can't remember. For as long as they can remember, Jessica, Nora, and Alicia have been told how lucky they were. As young girls, they were rescued from family tragedies and raised by a loving foster mother, Mrs. Fairchild, on an idyllic farming estate and given an 
an elusive second chance at a happy family life, but their childhood wasn't the fairy tale everybody thinks it was. Mrs. Fairchild had rules. Mrs. Fairchild could be unpredictable. And Mrs. Fairchild has never was never ever to be crossed in a moment of desperation. The three broke away from Mrs. Fairchild and thought they were free. Even though they never saw her again, she was always somewhere in the shadows of their minds. When a body is discovered under the home they grew up in, the foster sisters find themselves thrust into the spotlight as key witnesses. Or are they prime suspects? This book, I feel like might need to come with a trigger warning if you've got any like stuff in your childhood maybe, but that sounds really good. And Sally Hepworth, she writes a good book. Okay, my last one is very different from anything that I read, but I'm kind of dabbling in sort of fantasy books. And this was a fate inked in blood. It's the saga of the unfated book one. Oh crud, I didn't know this was gonna be a series. Well, <laughs> there you go. Um, it says a shield maiden blessed by the gods battle to unite a nation under a power hungry king while fighting for her growing desire for his fiery son in this Norse inspired fantasy romance. Now fantasy romance is not really my thing, but again, I don't know. There was something about this when I read the whole synopsis that I was like, I'm intrigued. I think I want to check that out. So I've got some lighthearted reads. I've got a nice mystery. I've got a fantasy. I'm all set for the month of April and May to read. So again, if you want to check out Book of the Month, I can't recommend it high enough. You can use my discount code to get your first box for only $5. That was all of our boxes, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon for another one. Bye-bye.